makes it easy for everyone in the company whether or not they know SQL that means everyone from analyst to frontline engineers to CEOs can explore data for insights at any time hi folks this is Dan from Enterprise DevOps. Today we will be exploring an amazing open source tool for business intelligence, Metabase. So if your teams are not comfortable with the SQL, no problem. We have the solution Metabase that is a low code platform tool. You can build your real time graphs. You can connect with your different databases, different data sources and build amazing and intuitive graphs on that table. You can embed the metabase in your applications and other more great features which will which we will see in the demo and you can explore the metabase without any SQL barriers you can filter everything from you it's a low code platform tool hence it's easy for everyone for CEOs for business analysts for developers everyone to get insights on data whatever is happening with your data you can create specific alerts you can connect with different databases like from aws to spark and much more even with the google analytics and it's easy to set up we'll see the documentation how we can spin up the metabase we'll just see it in, in a second and also you can embed the analytics everything here and it's easy let's move towards the installation process you will just come up here get metabase you have option that if you want to use the cloud version you can sign up here for now we are going with the open source version which we will host on our server so when you will go to the installation services you have option for if you want to install as a docker image or you want to run it on kubernetes you you have all the options so for the demo we are using the jar file which i will download and we will run the jar file so i already downloaded the file let me just go and run this command to spin up my metabase cluster so i have this now i'll just spin up my cluster it will just take couple of minutes for first time to initialize the database so once it's up we can we are good to go with with our service Meanwhile, you can tune some parameters for heap and everything. You will find all the tuning parameters in the documentation also. If you will follow the documentation, you have the documentation for installation, for tuning parameters, everything. So you can see all of them here. So once our service, okay, one more thing for the production setup, you need to connect it with the Postgres or MySQL. It depends on you. Uh, which service you want to use but for just for the demo basis we are using the in-memory database like uh, for java so our server is running now we can just move to the port it's running on 3000 we'll just go to the setup and just do the initial setup configurations like it's asking for the language and some useful information and just random password we can use once we are done with this it will ask like if you want to connect with your any database like sql server most postgres and many other options for now i'm just going with the demo database so our instance is up now and we are good to go to analyze some analytics on our data by default metabase it comes with a sample database on which we can test how metabase is working how we can use the metabase we'll explore uh, this in detail just let me go through the application what features is contained this is the home page like um, most of your things it will come up here and you have different collections on which you can create your own personal dashboards and share it with the other teams if you go to the settings in the account settings you have the option for your user reg regarding password login history notifications everything other than that if you will move towards admin setting you can set up your databases your email your slack channel if you want to notify on the slack 
and some other configurations you can you can configure from here on the general tab you have the information for your cluster which you can uh, enable or disable based on the requirements in the email this will be this will be your email configurations this will be your slack configurations and in authentication you can enable authentication with google auth or your active directory server as well in maps you are you need to provide your map tile server url localization you have just some default configurations which you can use also it's uh, based on the country public sharing if you want to enable the public sharing and you want to share your reports dashboards anywhere you can just enable disable it from here you want to allow embedding if you want to embed your your data your analytics in any other application you can enable from here and some other configuration for caches on the database from here you can add multiple databases uh, from where you want to get the data and put analytics we'll just see in some time because for now we are going with a sample database which is the java s2 engine but you can connect your own databases here this tab it will show you the data models for your uh, schema we'll just explore that in a while and these are the people if you want to invite your team and the permissions you can create multiple groups and and permissions also so let's go and at start check with our simple data by default whenever you you add your database to metabase metabase automatically constructs some some useful information on your data let's suppose on this uh, browse data on this sample database metabase itself it created some x-rays like some some analytics on your data let's go and explore so in our current database we have one table for people and metabase automatically built some x-ray dashboard on that data if you will see you can get okay there are total 2500 people no new people joined in last 30 days your user growth is going down new people per month from which states they are coming from by based on the coordinates per city per source so this this useful information matter is generated automatically based on your data set and some additional also if you want to zoom in to some specific field you can just go in in depth about that field let's suppose i am going to the name fields you will see all the user names from where they are coming every information so metabase does this by himself if you will you can see that metabase constructs some stuff on the orders table also you can see some useful information what's going with your database so all of this in in this information is constructed by metabase automatically so that is something like business intelligence and artificial intelligence use in this platform once you provide your platform it will build the useful information by itself rather than any changes so you can explore much more data and it's automatically generated by metabase based on different graphs so let's go and try to explore some data if you will go to browse data you can go to your database and from here this is this is your table schema like in this database you have four four tables you can if you will just open this you will see this icon this is the x-ray table this is metabase generated this dashboard by itself which we just see before but if you want to go through any table let's suppose this is order tables this is the description for this table you can edit the description edit the stuff here also then you have the information for fields this is the data data type which is coming from database and this is the field type you can you can edit the field type accordingly also if you want to change some some stuff here this one is the question about this table question it's like uh, like the graphs like the data like the visualizations which you have built for this table if you build something for this table it will come up here and this is the x-ray like we just discussed before that metabase automatically construct some useful information for this table same like this you have the information for other tables as well 
if you will just come up here you have the information for this moving on next you can go to the table and explore the data also you can see all the data here you can customize which columns you want to display these all the things it's in your hand like how you want to visualize your data here and then the important thing and the easy thing let's suppose as a business analyst or as a ceo you want to see that from from which states people are coming and you want to gather some information so for that you just need to come up here and here you can see all all of your if you want to filter on specific thing let's suppose you want to filter on city or you want to filter on state you can just do a direct filter you can use the direct filter here for for this uh, for this table we are going to visualize that i want to know how many peoples are coming from different states so for that i will just go to the summarize i will summarize by count and i will group by city and it will quickly it will show me uh, or i will go by state yeah instead it it's much better so if you will see what i did i just uh, summarize the data by count based on the state and you can see that here it's showing me the map and let's suppose for the taxes it's showing there are 194 people which are coming from this state and then you have california all of the states the data it's grouped by that state so it's easy for you to make some filters summarize accordingly to which field you want to summarize and then after that once you're done you can just go and you can just save this filter where save this dashboard let's suppose people count group by state and you can just add this to your if you want to add this as the dashboard you can as add it also my dashboard and you can see your your dashboard is created and it's a real-time data you can configure everything from here we will just come up here in some time also let's go and let's build some more stuff this time we want to see some stuff on orders so you can come up here and you can filter the data let's suppose I want the orders which are greater than 100 and it will show me the orders which are greater than 100 then i want to visualize this data so i will go and just summarize the count and it it should be yeah like how you want to group it you if you want to group it by let's suppose you want to group it by state from which state the data is coming <clears throat> now you can see that the users from texas they have order which are greater than 100 and they are in total 393 orders which are uh, which are coming from this state so you you can you can visualize different stuff if you want to visualize according to the date created date you can see that these are all the orders which are above than 100 and you can see how you are growing that at this time how many orders you have you can visualize all of your data so this is how you can create multiple filters you can do multiple stuff here and then you can group by and and show the useful information like how you want to see other than that if you want there are some uh, useful information also if you will just click on the right side you you can you can build up your sql query let's suppose if you asked we can we can use uh, sql query so once you open the sql query if you want to get more control over your data let's suppose i want to check the count from my orders where total is greater than 100 so it will give me a quick data you can also save this and visualize this data uh, with according to the timestamps or how you want to use so important thing here let's suppose this is a counter you can also pass the variables here I, if i want to pass the variable let's suppose uh, total war you can select from here it's a type number and it's a required value you can define the by default values for 50 and if you will run this query you can see the values are changing and if you will pass 
more values you can see the total is changing one other important thing you can also use the snippets let's suppose if you want uh, don't want to duplicate your data you can just use the snippets just use this save as a snippet you can write count from orders and save it so whenever next time you want to use your query you can just refer this snippet so for now let's go and save this uh, dashboard like total count let's save this dashboard and let's see how it will work you can see the total count it's coming by default the value of the total is 50 but if we want to change we can make it dynamic also if you will just come up here click here and uh, go to the id you can write the label name let's suppose uh, total and then by default the value you can set from here is 50 and you can connect with your column here with your variable also here you can you can connect something with your with other states also if you want to but for now we will connect with this one and the default value is 50 and you are done save so once you save this you can see your data is coming for 50 if you will increase you will see the count is changing and it's a real-time data so it's much more easy okay let's move uh, go and uh, let's try to see one add one more data go to your browse data your orders you can put a filter here if you want to create some filter here you can apply the filter but for now I want to visualize my data like my I want to see my count from here according with the time and date so you can see that how your your orders are growing from from this time range you can also filter the time range also so let's go and save this chart and there will be something amazing which i want to show with you let's suppose this one is our chart and if you will come up here you can see there are some different options if you want to put some click behavior let's suppose if you will click on this what will happen you can configure from here but if you will go to the visualization option there is one amazing option for goal line let's suppose your goal line is 500 and what will happen from here you can you can see uh, multiple options also so if you will done this and you can see from here that you have set your goal lines and you can also enable the alerts from there you know you can also enable the alerts from there whenever you are crossing your goal lines you you will receive the alerts that it is something happening with your data so that are all the features of metabase and it's uh, really simple and easy to use for everyone and it's a low code platform tool you don't need to be an expert to use this it's very easy for everyone for ceos for your business managers for everyone that's all for this video uh, thank you very much if you have any questions regarding installation or anything please let me know in comments down thank you very much